We've covered a lot of ground and a lot of skills, but now we get to my specialty, the jump shot. I'm always working on my jump shot, and it helped me make the All-Star team three times. Last year at All-Star Weekend, I figured I had a great chance to win a three-point contest, but I ran into a guy who was even hotter than me, Jason Capona. Jason had a breakout season leading the league in three-point shooting. And here he is to teach you the art of the, the jump shot. Hi, I'm Jason Capono with the Toronto Raptors. Come with me today and we're gonna work on the art of shooting. Capono drifts in and scores. Little jumper coming off the screen. Capono, three ball on the way. Capono got it! Capono doesn't hesitate. Wow. Boy, a terrific stroke. Shooting as a kid is the only thing that you can do. You're not really quick, coordinated as a kid, so all you do is you just try to fire up shots. So I was fortunate enough to have a hoop uh, in my front yard, and I used to wander outside all the time after school and just fire up shots. And you know, the older I got, the uh, better I became at it. And uh, once I started playing organized basketball around the fourth or fifth grade, that's when I started to really focus on the art of shooting. Well, here's Jason oh, Capono. Oh he goodness. right now is the number one three-point shooter in the NBA for the Miami Heat. He's getting it done right now. And this worth two to get 24. He is just wow. tied the all-time final round mark. Your champion in the Foot Locker three-point shootout, Miami Heat. Jason Capono. I would say that there are three keys to the shot. Um, it starts from the ground up. So what I start to focus on is your feet. So you always want to have your feet square to the hoop. Heel to toe, followed by your right side, and now you're squared up. No matter where you're starting from, no matter where you are coming from, you always want to be going towards the hoop. So if I'm coming into a shot, whether it's a pull up, whether it's a catch and shoot, I'm always trying to get to my left side first, and then my right side carries through, and now I'm square and ready to start shooting. If you shoot left-handed, then you will be probably stepping in with your right side first, followed by your left, and your left elbow over your left toe. Everything should be still square to the rim and a follow through. Quick catch and shoot, it's good. Jason Capono finds that spot. It's awfully hard to stop him. As a shooter, it's very important to have a good feel on the ball. So on your fingertips, that's where you have the most feel. So as a kid, I was always taught to shoot with your, uh, you know, your index finger and your middle finger, but you wanted to really concentrate on snapping these two. The Capono catch, shoot. Boy, has he got a quick stroke. Beautiful stroke. Jason Capono. For me, as a right-hander, this is the hand that you shoot with, so you are dominant on this hand. Like, the left hand is just for balance. If you're too far forward, it comes off like this, side spin. If you're too far back, you know, there isn't any balance. It comes off kind of weak. So you kind of want to have it in a position where you're just on the side of the ball, but it's a real light grip pressure. You know, you don't want to put too much grip pressure to cause your shot pocket to move. The shot pocket is when you get to the point right before you actually shoot the ball. So the shot pocket is getting it to right here, right before you're ready to shoot. So as soon as it gets to the shot pocket, everything should be set. You want to keep the shot pocket still, and this just balances it. You shouldn't have to do any more work except for to follow through. Here's a quick drill just for form work. So first thing when it comes to form is having your feet square, pointing to the hoop. Second thing is having your hips square, aligned with your feet, and then having your shoulders square to the hoop. So if everything uh, is all square on the same plane, then you just want to have your elbow over your right toe and have a nice follow through. This is something that you could just do. You don't need anybody out here. You don't need a rebounder. You don't need any defense, but it's something that just helps you just get used to it. Having good form, and uh, it's an easy drill to work on. I'm a Los Angeles kid, so I grew up watching Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, James Worthy, those type of players. Uh, during that area, obviously, was uh, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird. In the later era, Steve Kerr, Reggie Miller, you know, Ray Allen nowadays. All of them had their own way of shooting, and I just always focused on the follow-through. That Those guys are always square to the hoop, and those guys' wrists and their elbows are always going towards the rim. Any time of night that uh, I wanted to practice my shot, but I couldn't go outside, I would just lay in bed, obviously would have a basketball, and I would just practice my follow-through. You want to concentrate on following through straight up, and the ball should return to the same position. Following too far forward or too far back, the ball's gonna come offline. It's gonna come, you know, fall too far forward or too far back. So I would just lay in bed. I'd get my 
elbow in a position, and I just practice my follow through. That's something that you can do at any time when you don't have a hoop and you want to work on one of the fundamentals of the shot. Left in the corner, it goes to Capono. Jump stop, comes up, pulls in, and that's about as fundamental as it gets, everybody. You young kids out there, pull up, straight up, drop it in. The bank shot is a high percentage shot. It's definitely good to be used around the basket. And the angle in which you want to use it is probably on a 45 degree angle all the way out to the wing. And anything up to, say, the elbow is a decent bank shot, but no further than halfway from the wing to the corner. So when I'm shooting a bank shot on the right-hand side, I'm focused on the top right-hand corner of the square. If I'm on the left-hand side, I'm focused on the top left-hand corner of the square. And what I focus on, like I do any other shot, is I'm focused on falling through right at my target point. I normally use it from, let's say, the 15-foot range uh, into a, a layup. It's definitely a good shot to use in this mid-range area. Capono, high off glass, and he scores. What a bucket. There isn't one way to shoot the basketball. There are certain fundamentals to follow, you know, squaring up to the basket, being down and ready to shoot, but not everyone is going to ha have, you know, the same follow-through. Not everyone's going to have, you know, the same shot. It just comes down to understanding those the fundamentals and perfecting the way that you shoot. Capono, Capono. This guy is a quality shooter and scorer. So the last drill that I did as a kid growing up focused on the squaring up facet of the shot. And uh, it's something that you don't need anybody to be with you. All you need is a ball and a hoop. And uh, I will show you how to do that. What you want to do is you want to spin the ball out to yourself. And you want to run around the ball and get your right leg start coming back towards the rim and your left leg follow. Obviously now this gets you to the point that we just talked about. Now everything is square towards the rim. Your hips and your shoulders are square. And now you just got to get it to your shot pocket and shoot. Capono again. If he starts to get hot, watch out. So I just got done sharing a few key tips of shooting. I'm Jason Capono with the Toronto Raptors. Now it's your turn to go out and use those tips.